So this week is Nathan's birthday and so we're headed off for a little weekend mini getaway, not going far, just Oxford, um, and we're taking the Bromptons with us because the hotel we're staying at is slightly outside the centre so it will give us um, a good option to getting to and from the hotel. This video is being sponsored by Insaita. I have their uh, Brompton birch bag, as you can see behind me, I'm just packing it. I'm using that as a weekender, it's a 25 litre bag, so perfect size for a weekend getaway. So far so good, it has lots of pockets, which I love, um, so yeah, just packing up getting ready to go. super early for check-in. We had enough of Oxford. We had a little poodle around, uh, enjoyed it, had lunch, but uh, yeah, now we're cycling along the Thames path here and it's beautiful. The sun has come out and since we were early and we discovered this beer garden, we have stopped for some beers. Birthday boy! a lovely sleep in a very comfortable bed um, and now we're just headed back into Oxford looking for some good coffee the hotel is lovely but coffee not so good um, so yeah we're gonna find ourselves some coffee had a poodle around again and then head home As you can see, I used this Vincita Birch 2.0 bag in my, on my trip to Oxford. And uh, I'm just going to unpack it and tell you what I liked about it, what maybe I would change about it, um, and how it worked for me. So um, yeah, let's get unpacking. So this strap is very well made. It's got some padding here and as you can see some extra padding for your shoulders. So no matter what you put in this bag, um, the shoulder strap is super sturdy. Um, I wasn't sure, so at the start I had, you'll notice in the video, I had it under the buckle here, but actually I found it was just as easy to tuck it in the back and therefore I had quick access to the strap when I took the bag off the bike. In the front here um, there's a pocket which is great for putting the strap in when you don't need it. Um, I had my glasses in there, so glasses in my sunglasses case. I get excited that I was going to need sunglasses, um, but not so much really. <laughs> so yeah, handy little pocket for access in your wallet and things would go well in there. Um, on the back, we have two pockets, so I did bring water with me. Um, I don't drink enough water, and so when I'm on the bike, I tend to drink more, so I always bring a water bottle with me. Um, so that's handy. On this side, um, I put my gloves, and then there's also the rain cover. And also on the back here, is a zipper, it's a two-way zip, 
and it allows you access to the main part of the bag so that you don't have to unbuckle it and open it up completely. You just reach in and grab something you want. This bag has a lot of details like that, which made it really enjoyable to use, I found. Um, and I like lots of pockets to keep me organized. Um, so yeah, front buckle undone, um, and you've got the Velcro just to hold it down tight and make it look tidy. Um, so that was great. Then you get into the interior of the bag. So I had a spare pair of shoes for dinner. Um, so when you're traveling light, so 25 liters is a good size for a weekender. Um, I travel quite light regardless, but it's always the shoes I find that are the killer that take up all the space. So cute little flats um, are what I tend to use because they don't take up as much room. And now inside the interior of the bag, there is an organizer. So as you saw me uh, in the video packing, it slots into the bag and helps you organize your stuff and it snaps in place so it doesn't bunch up and you know get messy inside the bag so I'm just going to pull that out so that's that and we'll go over that in a minute um, and in the interior here so if you didn't want to use that you have you know a nice big empty interior and then there's um, on the back part a section that is a laptop you can put your laptop as a padded area great if you're using this for a work bag on a daily basis so that's that section in the two front pockets like I said I like I like all the pockets I tend to have a lot of bits and bobs from filming and um, things. So there's my phone charger in that pocket, uh, some mic gizmos and spare batteries. So um, yeah, I like that I can keep my things separated and organized that way. So yeah, that is the bag. The other feature I liked about it was this on the back. So that's the bit that hooks into the Brompton uh, bracket on the front of the bike. But I really like that you can cover that up and then if you want to use this bag as a non-Brompton bag or when it's off the bike and you're carrying it, I think that's just nice to have that covered and padded. Um, you can take the frame out. The frame that keeps this bag nice and rigid um, for on the bike can be removed if you want to use it like a normal satchel. The interior. So this allowed me to keep everything super organized. And as you can see, it's my favorite color. So <laughs> bonus points for that. Um, so two buckles to undo it. Um, and inside there's two main compartments. So on this side, there's a little slot here. Um, you could put a uh, probably straightener, if you have a straightener, a curly yarn, if you use that. Cause there's, and there's little straps for all kinds of things in there. And then, yeah, I said that pocket of my toothbrush in there right now. Um, and then, yeah, I have all my cosmetics in this clear um, section. And then, yeah, all my clothes in here. So I wore the same jeans both days. I have no problem with that. I don't need a brand new outfit every day. Uh, I brought a blouse for dinner. Nathan and I went out to dinner while we were away. And I had a change of top, so I wore, so I wore this top um, on the second day, and I wore these tops. Uh, layered on the first day. That's what I brought. I could have easily fit more in that pouch and I could have easily fit more in the main compartment of the bag. So plenty of room for a weekend away in this bag, which makes it really cool because the Brompton is such a great um, piece of kit to have with you when you travel. We were able to see so much more of Oxford in less amount of time and not having to walk around everywhere I like. And then when we wanted to walk, we could just push the bikes. So really enjoyed having this bag and using it. The thing I would change about it the only, only thing I can think of that I would change is this Velcro. Um, I think I would point it the other way so that if you wanted to seal the bag higher up here like that, you could, could because it would allow you to maybe overpack this main section more, whereas right now you have to really make sure it's down all the way and secured tight, whereas the belt, uh, the buckle, allows you to um, get have more give, so the buckle allows you to do that but maybe you still want to secure that so I think I would change the direction of that velcro I mean but honestly otherwise this bag is is pretty phenomenal I enjoyed it it made traveling to the Brompton on the train super easy and I would definitely recommend it so I'll put the link below as usual and you guys can go check it out so those of you who do travel with your Brompton it'd be great to hear your tips on what you do and what you recommend and any gear that you have that just makes it a little bit easier um, be great to hear as always thanks for watching until the next video